Welcome again to Cooking Like a Pro. I'm your host, Alan DeMottos. We're a show about using professional cooking techniques for the home cook. From not only preparation to presentation, but also purchasing. Because if the home cook's not careful, he can easily spend a lot more to eat at home than it costs to eat out. Now, where's the fun in that? The first sauce we're going to do today is demi glace or espagnole. For this, I'm going to need a very intense stock. Here's one I've been cooking for about eight hours now. It's ready to be strained. As you can see, my bones have given their all. These are some beef marrow bones I bought at my local grocery store. If I wanted to make a special trip to my butcher shop, I could have got some veal bones, which are higher in marrow content. However, these beef bones, because of the older animal, are higher in flavor. I also cooked a chicken carcass in here with it. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's not usually chicken bones in demi glace. However, the chicken stock is most often added at the end. So this is going to make it a more multi-purpose sauce. The next step is to reduce the stock with some tomato paste and red wine. But before I do that, I thought it would be fun to clarify it with a raft. For this, I'm going to need ground meat mixed with whipped egg whites and minced vegetables. My stock needs to be warm, not hot, and I'm going to temper this by first adding the stock to the ground meat mixture and mixing to combine. Then, I turn on my flame and add this mixture to the pot. And whisk for 10 minutes until it comes to a rapid boil. As you can see, our raft is forming. This is going to need to cook for another 20 to 30 minutes. So in the meantime, let's start our red sauce. For my traditional red sauce, I'm going to need tomatoes, tomato paste, and some meat. And the meat is never ground. If you saw Goodfellas, Ray Liotta knew, if he served glorified sloppy joe meat to his gangster buddies on top of pasta, they'd probably have him whacked. This is a pork roast. You could also use meatballs, sausage, beef roast. And the, and the meat is cooked in the sauce later taken out of the sauce and served on the side. The first thing I'm going to want to do is brown this roast. After my roast is brown, the next step is to cook my onions and tomato paste in the same oil. Now I hate to break it to you, but there is no garlic in this dish. Onions, however, are permissible. I'm only going to need about one and a half cans of tomato paste. The other half I'm going to reserve for my demi glace. I'm actually going to cook it here first. Now, the importance of cooking tomato paste is I'm going to want to cook this in this oil until all the oil is absorbed. As you can see, the oil is now all absorbed by the tomato paste. Next, we're going to need to add our fresh tomatoes. It's going to take about eight large tomatoes for this dish, and I'm going to prepare them the concasse method. We're going to core them and score them with an X, then lightly blanch them for a minute, which is going to enable us to peel the skin off. I'm just going to do three for you. You can see how easily that skin peels off after I blanch them. Next. Cut them in half. And I need to get the uh, seeds out by straining. We're going to want to reserve any of the liquids and just strain out the seeds. Next, I have my tomato pulp. This I'm just going to dice up and then add to our pot. That's a pretty good consistency. Next, we're ready to return the roast to the pot. And that's going to cook for about six hours. It's been about a half an hour 
You can see the raft's done, it, done its work. This is ready for its final straining. Our clarified stock is now consomme, and it's ready to move on to the next step. That is so good. It is so complex. We're going to add a little bit of tomato paste, about one tablespoon, I reserved from earlier. It's been pre-cooked. And a little bit of red wine. Now this is going to need to reduce for two to four hours. So we'll keep an eye on that. I'm using two buck chuck. We like it here. Also you can see what's left of the raft. If you read Anthony Bourdain's book, you'll know he serves this to the help um, for employee meals, but I'm going to throw it away. Our red sauce and demi-gloss are working. So let's make some hollandaise. In here, I have two egg yolks and two tablespoons of water. I'm going to need to cook these over a double boiler. Until the eggs begin to set up. Now the main difference between this and mayonnaise is I'm not going to be incorporating air into it if I was making mayonnaise. With the hollandaise, we need the air. You can see how these are starting to streak on the bottom. I'm ready for my clarified butter. At first it's very crucial that you add it slowly to the emulsification takes. I'm, I think I'm ready to pull this off the heat. Look how tight that's getting already. So I'm going to pull it off the heat. Continue adding my butter off heat. You can see I'm getting a nice emulsification going. It's actually getting a little too thick. I'm going to need to add more water. That's the thing with this kind of sauce, is that if it just gets too thick, go ahead and add a little more water. I'm going to add lemon juice at this point for flavor. Additional butter. After a few minutes of whisking, I've added two full sticks of butter to this, clarified. If you're a Jeremiah Power fan, you can add whole butter. It's however going to make it a lot thicker and you're going to need a lot more water to finish. See how that's just a little too thick right there? I'm going to add a little water at this point. Remember, if this gets too thick, you can always add water. Because you want this to consistency that it will pour. This is not one of those sauces that coats the back of the spoon. This is a pourable consistency. Now you can see my emulsion is nice. It's tight as a drum. Okay, it's done. Season with a little salt and pepper. White pepper is traditional. I'm going to go with the black. And your sauce is done. Now what are you going to do with it? Well, take your eggs benedict. Don't like eggs benedict? This is a reduction of tarragon in red wine, in red wine vinegar. Add that. You've now turned this mother sauce of hollandaise into Bernays sauce, which is served with beef. Our fourth sauce today is bechamel. For this, I'm going to need two cups of scalded milk. In this skillet, I have a roux of one and a half tablespoons butter, one and a half tablespoons flour. All I need to do is add my scalded milk gradually. Bring it to the boil. And this sauce is done. It's important that you bring it to the full boil because only at that point will you be getting the full force of your thickening agent. We now have a rapid boil, and you can see our sauce has reached the consistency that we're looking for. 